Welcome back down into the lounge. Daddy Clay. Daddy Brad. This week we're going to be taking on a topic that's surprisingly controversial. Paper versus plastic. It's that kind of social issue. The question, beer at children's birthday parties. It's a kid's party, not a party for the adults. Heck, we didn't even have alcohol at our wedding. Well, I bet that was a freaking roaring party, wasn't it? In order to get some uh, get some feedback on this, and I, I don't want to give away my own personal bias on the issue. So. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> so to remain neutral, I decided what I should do is I should I should solicit some opinions on this. So I, I I turned on my Google machine and I went out there onto the interwebs and I asked a bunch of my favorite daddy bloggers and mommy bloggers what they thought. And also, as you know, Daddy Brad, I'm a regular columnist at gather.com. You can special. find me there at uh, daddyclay.gather.com. And uh, so I, I published a question there. What do you think, gatherers, about this question, beer at birthday parties? And the responses were, were surprising. Yeah, it, it seems like that the folks were pretty much very passionate about which side of the aisle they were on. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it was the, really this, the world evidently divides between gatherers and, and bloggers because they're yeah. pretty, much, pretty much on either side of the fence. Yeah. I mean, you know, the, the, my, my daddy bloggers, you know, sort of ranged from, you know, saying, you know, it's, it's okay if you're, if you're responsible. Um, John Havens from Blog Talk Radio um, said, you know, it's, it's fine. Um, I've gone to... Um, to kids' parties, there's a barbecue and it's totally appropriate, he says. Uh, if there's a party inside someone's house where there isn't adult food, maybe it would be a no-no. Um, but but he, was, he was pretty much on it. Travis Holmes observed that, um, and, and, and uh, Travis is at, uh, uh, his blog is uh, The Holmes, H-O-L-M-E-S. Hmm. Um, that he said it was totally okay, invited people, but that while people would bring beer to a kid's birthday party, they wouldn't really drink it. Hmm. So he said, uh, it's pretty much just me and a few other dads nursing a few brews throughout the afternoon, and at the end of it, we were left with a huge fridge full of beer. Not the worst side of effect of a party, but still, so that, that seems like a win to me. Yeah, that's good. I mean, if you have a party. That's good. You know, but I don't think Priscilla from, from Gather, one yeah. of your Gather folks, would, yeah. would be going. She said, no way. In fact, I won't even go to a birthday party for children if there's going to be alcohol present. You know, I wonder if that translates to, to, to restaurants for her. She's eating all the time at Burger King and Chick-fil-A. And oh, Bridget. Yeah. Bridget says, kind of right there with Priscilla, I say, absolutely not. I know people who do, and I think that's absurd. Absurd. These guys are absurd. Yeah. It's a kid's party, not a party for the adults. Heck! We didn't even have alcohol at our wedding. Well, I bet that was a freaking roaring party, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, you know, I, it's pretty a long way away from Sarah over yeah. at uh, Suburban Oblivion. Suburban Oblivion. Uh, she says, I can barely deal with my own three kids without drinking. Bringing another 20 others around at once <laughs> makes alcohol a requirement. Oh, that's interesting because Heather, Heather says, a requirement? Only if your family is a big bunch of alcoholics. Beer isn't a kiddie drink, and if the adults can't go an hour or two without a beer, then there's a big problem with them that they likely aren't ready to admit. Maybe we um, need to hook them up for an intervention. Now, one of my favorite comments um, came from Momo Folly, and Momo Folly uh, has a blog, Momo Follies, and um, I, you know, I really liked her response because it was both, it was both a, a, an opinion, it was a take, and it was also a, sort of a tip. Take and she tip. said, um, I'm all for beer at birthday parties. How else can you get parents to do the limbo? Naturally. That's a good uh, oh, wait. Point. That was supposed to be for the kids. Also, I find a sweating beer bottle is great for putting on those little tattoos. Momo. So there's a, there's a hint for you. That's great. <laughs> beer that's bottle excellent. can be. I love that. I think that's, a, I think that's beautiful. It's like, yes, you got to have beer. You got to have beer at the party. And you can use it to put on tattoos. That's a good thing. You know, maybe... I've often found that drinking beer, you know, leads to tattoos like the ones that don't wash off. Well, it probably would at, at this party. Uh, Kimmy L. says, The receptionist in my office had a birthday party for her six-year-old son and ordered five kegs. She got so drunk she was hungover for two days. Yeah, that's, Bad totally, idea. that's totally overkill. <laughs> totally overkill. Three kegs 
would have been yeah, plenty. Yeah, I think so. And you probably would have ended up with a tattoo and, and other things. Three kegs is more than enough. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, Cyber Gwen. Yeah. Cyber Gwen here says, I remember parties for kids that ended so badly because a few of the adults overdid it. I don't remember them fondly from my childhood, so no. You know what? I bet those adults don't remember it either. <laughs> I mean, good Lord, come on. You're not going to a kid's birthday party to get wasted. Yeah, I, 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 I do. I, there was actually one birthday party that I remember. Um, <laughs> and it was a birthday party where it was this, you know, it was kind of like a block party as a birthday yeah. whole thing. And the, the whole neighborhood was there. And oh, so I was like, was there's there. a barbecue and there's people yeah. drinking. And they had this set up this big blow up thing. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you know it was like it had sprinklers on it. You'd slide through it and splash, and yeah. it was it was it was cute. I mean, the kids really loved it. And some you know, as happens, some drunk guy, you know, jumps in there and starts sliding around. Isn't uh, that funny? And I think the dude tweaked his knee. How is your knee, my friend? <laughs> Dude, that was ugly. <laughs> Do we have, I mean, <laughs> did you have to out me? <laughs> Dude, to see you cruising down a slip and slide. I, okay, so I think uh, uh, Little Tony, um, whose blog, Concretans, by the way, is, is really funny, really good. If you're, if, you like, um, if you're kind of a skate park guy, skate park dad, alternate dad, Concretans is a good one for you. Um, you know, he says it's, 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 the party is certainly much more fun with beer, but the aftermath, read mommy stink eye, uh, will be much worse. Mm -hmm. um, sort of depends on the mom boss to dad ratio, how much adult supervision is available. So he's sort of saying, you know, yeah, you can have beer, but there may be some, maybe some mom fallout on that. Yeah, could be, could be. Well, you know, I guess it's, it comes down to personal decision. Right? And I think my favorite responses were those like these. Um, Looky daddy. Great, fantastic, hilarious blog. Of course, he sent me a funny. He said, uh, Clay, I'm confused. Are you asking if beer at my kid's birthday party is okay? Or are you asking me whether or not we serve beer or a different alcohol like vodka? Because honestly, <laughs> the first question doesn't even make sense. <laughs> so I guess he's, he's pro. He's pro. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know, and uh, you know, the, Robert um, at Coochie Coos, great design product blog. Um, moderate, moderation, responsibility are key. That's that's mm -hmm. very Robert. Um, he says, I don't think having drinking games or beer races is a good idea. Yeah, that's probably not so, a good idea. That leads to big people on the slip and slide. Here, right. Here's one I don't understand. This is kind of somebody I think that, that wanted to be middle of the road but kind of went otherwise. This is from Nanya Hawk. And Nanya says, I wouldn't serve beer. Now, if I had one in the fridge and someone asked me for it, they could sure have it. But planning on serving beer for the adults at the kid's birthday party, well, that's just a plain no-no. So I guess if you kind of premeditated plan on beer, it's bad. So somebody steals the beer. But if it simultaneously turns into a big rip-roaring drunk, somebody, that's fine. If somebody sneaks into the kitchen <laughs> yeah. and gets loaded in the bathroom. That's okay. Fine. Fine. And then plan it. I, I, I understand that. Yeah. Um, Interesting. Neil Pollock came across with his usual subtle comment, mm -hmm. Neil of Offsprung.com. If you haven't been there to see the group of blogs that are there, you really need to go check that out. Some funny, funny bloggers over there. Neil Pollock, author of Alternate Ad, says, and I, I can't even do a Neil. I wish I no. could do. Yeah. Like, eh, here's my Neil. It's like, That's... why is that even a question? I mean, have we become so completely neutered by kitty culture that we can't drink beer in the presence of children? Good Lord. So that's my, <laughs> that's my Neil Pollock. That's not evidently good. he's. Um, that's my like favorite. Squidward. My favorite has to be. Um, <laughs> my favorite has got to be Andy, um, and uh, Andy. Andy writes. Um, he's uh, he, uh, baby loves disco is mm -hmm. his bit. Um, he says uh, beer's better than bong hits. Yeah, I would. I would agree. Okay, so we want to know what you think about this uh, about this issue as well. And we're actually going to run a contest. It's new for us here at Dad Labs. We're going to give you prizes. We're going to choose two comments that we think are particularly pithy, and, and that doesn't mean necessarily what you do after you have a beer. Um, we like the first will be a complete set of Doodad's DVDs. Wow. That's the Man's Survival Guide to Pregnancy and Doodad's. The Man's Guide to Labor and Delivery. You get both DVDs for the number two comment. The number one comment. 
God. We'll get the baby bath gate here. This is a safety device you put up in the bathtub, keeps baby from uh, hitting their head or chipping their teeth on the uh, on the fixtures. This is particularly good for drunk parents. Yeah, to use so, while you're in the bathtub. Yeah, maybe when yeah, you're you in the bathtub. You never want to bathe your kids. So, give us a, drop us a comment. What do you think? Beer at kids' birthday parties, yes or no? You like getting a little toasted, talking to your buddies, or, or is this really about the kids? Let us know what you think. Um, or both. And, and, and win a prize. Yes. All right. That's it for us. Here from the Dad Lab Lounge. Prizes, prizes, giveaways. Dude, these people are goodies. Just, Ow, this is, I mean, this is really controversial stuff. I'm telling you, man. I think Pollock's drinking when he's blogging. <laughs> like is, a lot. Isn't everybody? <laughs>